This is Susan Sun on the Maker with SunIsTheFuture.net here in front of the uh, Capitol Building of Minnesota. We are with University of Minnesota's uh, Dun Mr. Dunklop, right? Yes. And tell us what's the most memorable experience from this uh, whole journey. Uh, pulling in here for sure. I mean, this was awesome. Uh, we came in, we had an awesome day coming in. Um, we were able to go very fast. Um, and then coming in into hometown was awesome. So many people were waiting, rooting for yeah. you guys. Yeah, uh, I, I think a lot of the uh, team members' family was here, um, and a lot of friends were here too. It was pretty cool coming in. And it's a beautiful sunny day yeah. after the earlier part of the rain, isn't it? Yeah, we had uh, rain uh, for about the first hour or so, uh, but we were able to get out of it pretty quick, and uh, then it was just beautiful. We just had sun the entire way. And, uh, it was Wonderful. Awesome. Oh, how much were you able to uh, increase your speed by before and after the stop the rain? Uh, we were planning on doing like uh, about 40 to 45 all day and uh, once we got out of the rain uh, we brought it up to about 55 uh, and at some point we hit 60 so we were do you have any restriction on the speed or limit or on the speed yeah we're required to go the speed limit um, and we have an overall limit of 65 miles an hour um, so we were on the interstate at one point today where the speed limit was 70 but we could only go 65 what kind of supporting vehicles did you have how many uh, we have uh, three support vehicles or Four. Uh, we have uh, a lead vehicle, a chase vehicle, then we have a scout vehicle that checks out uh, weather and road conditions, um, and they were seeing where everybody was today, uh, finding the brakes in the clouds for us. And then we have the truck and the trailer uh, along the route too. You didn't get stopped by the police or anything. No. <laughs> a very unusual looking car. Yeah, uh, some teams do. Uh, Illinois got stopped this time um, uh, for not having a license plate displayed. <laughs> okay. um, the cars don't have license plates on the outside, uh, so, but yeah, that's good. So how long did it take you guys uh, between, let's say, uh, actually register for the uh, race to the actual starting, uh, working on the race to the actual finishing? And uh, well, uh, we build a new car every two years. Um, so this is our 10th one. So it was kind of, you know, it was, we finished the race last time and we're like, all right, well, let's get ready. Let's build the next one. Um, so that was two years ago and we've been working ever since. So it's got a lot more work was done in the past year. Uh, the bulk of it, a lot of ideas. What are we actually going to do? Coming up with concepts uh, for the first year and then the second year was, all right, this is what we're actually going to do. Um, design it and then building it. Really good. And here we are with uh, next year's leader of the team for University of Minnesota's car, uh, right here in front of the uh, Capitol building of the Minnesota. And we're signing off. Thank you very much. Thank Susan Sun Nanamaker with Sun is Future.net.